morning, star seeds. Um, I thought I'd come on and have a little think about how to make yourself more beautiful. And I'm work, I work with the Venetian Ray from Venus and Divine Unconditional Love. So what I'm interested in is the vibration of beauty. And I think that when I look out in the world, there's a lot of people who are trying to be more beautiful. <laughs> I think that's true. And, you know, really, it, beauty's not something that's on our outside, which indigos and star seeds and light workers know. It's not something that's on our outside. It's something that comes from inside and comes out. And it is all about the beauty of your vibration and your vibratory level. Anyway, nonetheless, I have put together 13 ways to be more beautiful. Just remember, you don't really need to be more beautiful. You are beautiful as you are. Anyway, number one, love yourself. Love yourself. And when I say love yourself, bring out the best in yourself. Every time you are in the presence of yourself, channel and feel your love and your loving essence flowing into yourself and out of yourself and back into yourself so that you are flowing your love into yourself and out of yourself to bring out the best of you, of who you are. Because in the presence of beauty, People feel the love, they feel it. They feel the reflection of your divine creation within you coming out and being reflected upon them. And that is beauty. So, number two of how to be more beautiful. If you're a woman, connect with your goddess energy. Women Women's bodies have been created in the image of goddess. We are divinely created in the image of goddess. We are creatrix. So every part of our bodies is divine and has divine resonance. Every single cell, every single part of us. And goddess energy is very, very, very beautiful. It's why men are so fascinated with us and fascinated with the female body because they want to connect with the divine. They want to connect with the divine source of creation. And within a woman's body, we have a womb. We have a womb space. And that is our creative power. That is the gateway between the physical and the non-physical realm. We create and manifest through our wombs. It is the source of our creation, which links to the source of creation. Women are curate creatrix. We are creators. And if you want to feel sexy and you want to feel beautiful, then all you have to do is embody in body, through your body, your goddess energy, which you have just by birthright being female. <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay, number three of how to be more beautiful is, oh, this is a tricky one. So this is about looking at your thinking. So weed out your ugly thoughts. Unfortunately, the vibrations and the belief systems and the fixed mindsets of what we experience here on Earth, there's a lot of ugliness. And that ugliness is not a reflection of our divine power and our divine essence, but it is around. And the best way to do this within ourselves is to cleanse our thinking, our mindsets, of ugly thoughts. And so this means, and everybody has them, nobody's perfect, that when you experience yourself having an ugly thought about yourself 
or another, which actually is yourself, because anything you think about another person, you are doing to yourself, because we're all connected. So if you have a thought, if you look in the mirror and you think, oh, mm, she's mm, a bit wrinkly, I'm a bit fat, I'm a bit this, I'm a bit that, then those thoughts are being received by the receptors on your body and they are creating your reality and your body. And if you do not think that I know that this journey, believe me, I know. I have come from a place of self-hate, self-loathing, and I'm in a place of self-loving. And it is a journey, because there's a lot of ugly thoughts out there. So, just remember that your thoughts about another person, if they're not kind and they're not compassionate, they're the same thoughts you're having about yourself. So make sure your thoughts and your thinking is in alignment with beauty, an alignment with love, and in alignment with your vibration, your consciousness. Okay, number four, how to make yourself more beautiful. Weed out negative self-talk and replace it with love. Okay, so here we go. So one of the things you can do every morning, every evening, depends how much you need, you go, I love myself. I love myself. I really, really love myself. And you love your body, particularly the parts you don't feel like you're particularly fond of. You say, I love my body. I, I love it. I love, love, love. And you bring that love back into your vibration because that is what you nourishes you, what feeds you, what feeds all the cells in your body, which just fills your heart and just brings that beauty all the way through, through every single cell. It helps you to radiate. It helps you to be who you are and through you comes your beauty. Okay, so we're about halfway through. So number five on how to be more beautiful. Surround yourself with beautiful things. Surround yourself with beauty. And this can be anything that makes you feel beautiful. So I love paintings. I love bird singing. I love trees. I love my children. So bring into your life and have everything around you that can reflect back to you your beauty within. So from your within, have it push, you know, we need to have it reflected back to us. This has been one of the problems in the 3D, why things have become so distorted is because this reflection has not come back to us. And this is one of the things I'm gonna be talking about a lot in my videos with the Venusian ray and females is that we are born in the body of goddess and we need to have reflection, validation, coming back to us of love because we are born of love. <laughs> so surround yourself with beautiful things and whatever this might be for you, you know, flowers, art, people, places, nature, whatever it is, just make sure that you have things around you that feel beautiful. And what you'll find is that they will make you feel good. And when you begin to feel good, you have good feelings, then your energy generates within you and you begin to vibrate at your frequency, which is healthy and good for you. And this in itself raises your vibration. So all of that comes through your heart. Your vibration comes through your heart and it's raising it. And before you know it, you are magnetized and you are attractive, which means becoming attractive, like attraction, getting attraction because you are bright and you are light and you are vibrant with who you are. That's how this works. That's how this works. Because really, all we are is like vibrating particles in space. 
We're just many, many energy vortexes. And I just choose this hologram to show you. And we can change this. That's all I'm doing. It's like, I have chosen this body, but it's like vibrating in a particular way and it can change. I can lose weight, I can put on weight, I can comb my hair, I can straighten my hair. It's all part of this holographic image of my light that's coming to you and yours to me. So surround yourself with things that raise your vibration because that in itself will help you to feel lighter and brighter and bring your frequency through to earth a bit quicker. <laughs> okay, so number six of how to make yourself more beautiful or bring your beauty through you. Connect with your joy. Beauty for me is all about the heart. And for a lot of indigos and star seeds, it's all about the heart space. So the more you can connect with your joy in your heart and your vibration and open your heart and expand, the brighter you become and the more attractive you are to others and to the right people. Because you want to be attracted to the right people, not the predators, the right ones. So number seven, go where people appreciate your vibration and learn to appreciate yourself. So have people around you that appreciate your vibe, that know you, understand you, and like, yeah, you're great, I love you. And that's what you need. Be celebrated wherever you go. Number eight, embody your higher self and align with your truth and your core values, your integrity and your expression of your feelings. So you do this by going into your heart and what are your core values? One of my core values is love. That's really important to me. So I will vibrate my core values and my expression of my feelings. I will express love because that's what's important to me and that's my truth. Number nine, one beautiful way of making yourself more beautiful is eat vibrant foods. Eat foods that align with your vibrancy. Eat organic, eat plant-based, feel good. Number 10, do not hold stress in your body. De-stress as much as possible. Do not hold any kind of stress. Like as females, we are very good holders of energy. That's part of our energy alignment. Men are much more linear. We are curvaceous, we are rounded, we hold energy we have we can hold we're a vessel that can hold children so we our energy um can be very holding so just make sure you're not holding stress and you're holding other people's energy just get rid of it and massage loving exercise love yourself number 11 fill yourself with yourself and this means not comparing yourself to others because we are all uniquely different and we are all perfect in our own way. So fill yourself with yourself. And if people say you're fully of yourself, say, yeah, I am and I'm beautiful. I'm great. <laughs> Number 12, this is a good one for women. Ways to feel more beautiful. Say goodbye to low vibrational partners. We've, we've reached a time, we're in the three, 3D, but we're moving into the 5D, where we no longer have to spend time with people who do not vibrate on a level that's conducive to us. So this is a process of self-honouring. It's a partnership with self-love. So we do not have to spend any time with people who drain our energy. And there's a lot of information out there about energy parasites and people who draw off good, healthy, feminine energy and use it for their own means because they do not want to honour, respect the feminine. This is their choice. They are being shown lots of different ways on how they can do this, but it is also up to us to honour, love and respect ourselves and our energy. And so I suggest that you get rid of low vibrational partners. I'm sorry, but that's, you need to move to a higher vibration. 
because low vibration will drain your energy. And there have been an awful lot of um, old masculine, old mindsets that have used the feminine for their own means. You are not an energy source. You are not an energy source for somebody who doesn't want to look after their energy. You are a divine, beautiful being. And if you want your beauty to shine through you, then you do not want anybody to drain off you and be using you as an energy source. Believe me. Because we see it a lot. And this, I'm going to use a very um, old-fashioned example, which maybe has, you know, just a few mindsets around it for me. But sometimes you see older men going for younger women and they go for younger women because they want the energy of youth and they want the fertile energy of a woman. So you have to be very, very careful that when a man does this, that he doesn't stay with the woman and then when she gets to a certain age, stops being fertile, he'll move to another woman because he's not able to generate his own energy and fertility. And women, you do not want to be used as an energy source. You want your own energy for you, for your children, and for whatever project, organisation, or anything else you want to create in this world. Okay. So, the last and final way to be more beautiful, to have more beauty, is to have really good self-care routines. So sleep, sleep. It rejuvenates your energy. It's good for you. Relax. Relax as much as possible. Let go of stress. Just let it move out of you. You do not need it. Laugh. Laugh, 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 laugh. Women, we could all be laughing more. I know that I could. And sometimes that's why we like men around too. And other women, we need to laugh. We need to feel our joy of being alive. Dance. Dance. Do things that feel good. Swim. You know, rub lovely creams on your face. Have beautiful sacred baths. Just enjoy being in you, in the, in the body of being a female. And I, just on the last thing, which is number 14, but it's like an aside, is as a woman born into a woman's body in this lifetime, you are uniquely lucky because we are changing the world and we are reclaiming and re-empowering, and your beauty is needed. Okay, so much love to you. Thank you for listening. If you like what I do, please subscribe to the channel, like it, and if you want to work with me, you can do one-to-ones with my video, Earth Mother, with my website, Earth Mother Star Child. Thank you so much, so much love.